First thing I do is block them off, you know. Block them off. Block off the colors and stuff, like mm -hmm. you know, hair. And oh, so I see you paint all the black. This yeah, kind of picture down. yeah, just, mm -hmm. just to kind of lay the foundation, and then I'll you know start you know one area and then build up. Because the guidelines underneath tell me where I'm going to put in the highlights and you know changes oh. in texture and that. Oh, kind of thing. like kind. Of developed primarily from portraits. Uh, I used to do very meticulously detailed uh, pencil drawings of uh, people and when I became interested in painting um, that skill carried over and uh, what started as uh, portraits developed into more um, elaborate figurative studies, contemporary uh, themes. What? I think a lot of my influence comes from uh, friends who were involved or are involved with the performing arts theater. Um, well, I consider most of my work, except for the ones that are obviously um, Latin influenced, um, autobiographical. And uh, by that I mean that um, the ideas for many of my works come from my own experience or uh, the experiences of people within the network of people that I know. Basically, I'm exploring compositions uh, because I feel that I have achieved my technical proficiency as an artist. Sometimes I'd like to say that art is my life because I think that uh, for me art is a way of life. It is not simply what I do with my canvas because as I say uh, they, they reflect my personal life and therefore um, everything that happens before I actually put the uh, painting on on canvas, uh, that's all part of it. Uh, I consider that all part of the process too. We work, we know. We're going to yeah. see <laughs> if this works, but this is the Yay. photographer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh my God, now. You'll have your chance.